गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स आज हम सेल्स फोर्स इंटरग्रेशन के इंटर क्वेश्चन देखते हैं जो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है ये क्वेश्चन आपको हेल्पफुल हो सकते हैं इंटर क्रैक करने के लिए तो स्टार्ट करते हैं वट इज आइडेंटिफाई द प्रोवाइडर आई डी पी स्टैंड फॉर द आइडेंटिफाई प्रोवाइडर एंड एस पी स्टैंड फॉर द सर्विस प्रोवाइडर आई डी पी इज द सिस्टम दैट इज अथोरिटी ticket user by the validating the username and the password and then subsequently all other applications trust idp and allow user to the access the applications if the idp assert that the users is a valid users idp is system that is a store users login name and password next questions what is a service provider a service provider is a website that is a host app a service provider sp is the ent entity providing the service topically in the form of the application let the suppose we are the assessing the google's credentials to login salesforce org so salesforce will be the service provider and google will be the identifier provides the because google will be validate the users and the salesforce will give the service for the doing the work next questions what is the salesforce integrations salesforce integration is a process of the connecting two or more applications next question what is the outbound and uh, inbound integration in salesforce inbound web service inbound web service is a when salesforce exposes so and rest web service and any external third party applications consume is to get data from the your salesforce or it is an outbound call to the salesforce build outbound call to the external system here is a salesforce is the publisher and external system is is the consumer for of web service outbound web service outbound web service is a when salesforce consume any external third party application with the service is a call need to the send of the external system it is and inbound call to the external system but is outbound call and salesforce here is external system is the publisher web the service and salesforce is a consumers next question is different api in salesforce and when we can use this api rest api rest api is a simple and a uh, powerful web service based in rest pool principle it is a, suppose all short of the salesforce functionality rest resource and http methods for the example you can the create the read update and delete crude records search or query your the data and retrieve the object metadata and uh, access information about the limit through the org rest api and suppose both the xml and yes jones because rest api has a lightweight request and response framework and is easy to use it is a great for writing the mobile and the web applications next soap api soap api is a robust and powerful web service based on the industry standard and protocols of the same name if use web service descriptions language wsdl file and defining the parameters for access data for the api soap and api support xml xml only motos of the soap api functionality is also the available on thought the api rest api is just different on which standard better the meet your the needs next questions when to use and graphs ql api but highly responsive to the high scalable apps returning only data client the needs or in the single request graphics sql api overcome the challenges post and traditional rest api thought the fields and selections resource the aggregations and and schema intro patients field selection the reduce the size of the payload sending back only fields that were the including of the query aggregations and reduce round of trip and uh, between 
the client and the server the returning the state of the related resource and which single the response schema is inter patients in a bus users to see the type fields and object that is users has a uh, access to next questions what is the connected app in salesforce how how can create a connected app in salesforce connected app is a framework that is a enables external application to integrate and with of the salesforce using the api standard protocol such as a security and assertions and mark up the language as an as a email and out work and open the id con connect to connected and app is a, this is a protocol to the authorize authorizations and provide the single sign on the so this is the external app way next a uh, win to the use apex rest api when use apex rest api when you want to the expose your apex classes and methods so that is external application can access your the code and thought the rest that it just apex rest api and uh, support both out and 2.0 and uh, section at the authorizations next when to the use an apex scope api use apex soap api when you want to the expose apex methods as a soap web service api so that is a external application can access your the code and thought the soap apex soap api and support both the out and 0.2.0 and section id and authorizations next question so bulk api bulk api is a specialization rest for api loading the end queries a lot of data at once by lots we can means 50000 records or more and bulk api is a sql nows and meaning that, that is a you can submit a request and come back later than is a result this is a approach of the prefer one of the when you delaying the with of the large amount of data there are the two version of the bulk api 0.0 1.0 and 2.0 both version handle large amount of the data but we use bulk api 2.0 is a this models because is but is it's a bit desire to use bulk api is a great for the performing the task that is a you you know in value lots of the records such as a loading data into the your the org for the first times pub and sub uh, sub api uh, use turbine sub api is integrating external system with the real time the event you can subscribe in real time the event that is a triggers when you the ch changes are the made you are the data and subscribe the custom event the api use publish subscribe or the sub subscribe model in which users can subscribe to the channels that is a broadcast data changes of the custom notification the public sub model and re reduce the number of the api request in in eliminating the needs to making the frequent api request to get and data sub api is a great or writing the app is that is a word and otherwise a need to the frequently for and changes next when to use an sub api you can use sub api to integrate the external system that is a real time event and stream of the data based on of custom playload and thought is api um, platforms event or charts in the salesforce records and thought the change uh, data captures within the salesforce you can the publish and the subscribe to event with the avex triggers and process builders and flow builders sub uh, sub api is a built for the high scale is a traditional directionals and event integration when the salesforce used to sub api is efficiently publish and the subscribe to the binary event and message to the approach arrow format next next questions what are the salesforce integration directions integration can be the to the direction inbound the integration outward and integration inbound uh, integration in inter, uh, inbound the integration and external the system intimated intim entity and contact with salesforce and uh, outbound integration says for the integrate contact with as a external system next question was what is a single sign on single sign on is a sso allow the user access to the multiplay application without the single set of the credential they to do not, um, they 
do not need to the remember separate users ID password for each application. Since first offer uh, virus option optional for the uh, configuration single sign up. This is also the including um, federal authorizations using the SA email dele delegated um, delegated authorizations and open ID and connect. We need to the enable and small in a single sign out setting. Next question out of the terminology out of open the terminal uh, authorizations and out, out is on open the standard protocol that is a uh, enable secure that takes um, author, author takes um, authorizations and author, authentications for the in, granting the access to the resource such as the API and with without the exposing user the credentials client application the software application that is a one to the access protocol is the resource we have of the users and in the salesforce integration with the uh, cloud be uh, third party app is system next resource owner the user of the interly that is one that once the protocol resources for this is topically salesforce users who is data and resource are the being the Access next uh, author th authorizations server in Salesforce the authorizations server is a Salesforce identify and access management system is a handle user the authorizations and issue access token after that is a user grant permissions next access token as access token is a traditional user by the client application to access protocol resource Salesforce access to token at the short line and grant access to the specify the resource and for the limitation times next refresh the token refresh token is a long long life the traditional that is a, can be the use to the obtain a new access token when when the current one expire it is a often used to maintain of long term connections between the client application and the Salesforce. Next, authorizations and code in web server authorizations flow after users is the authorized the authorizations and server issue as the authorizations code and code as the exchange for the access and token and a refresh token by the client applications. Next, um, consumer key is it is a value used by the consumer in this case the mobile SDK app and to identify itself as the refers to client ID. Next, um, scope scope is uh, defined the specify permission and the access right or request by the client application and the Salesforce scope, scope can be the control the level of access of data and object and data. Next, uh, redirect URL and call back the URL when, when the users is authenticated and grant permission grant permission the authorization server the redirect user and browser to PCP PCP uh, users and um, specific uh, URL the the direct redirect the URI with of the authorization authorizations code in Salesforce integrations. This URL is often the provider of the client applications. User again flow also the noun as a implicit flow as a out flow and so is used to the single page and application the mobile app and where, where the access token is written directly to the user and browser of app. Next, username password the flow and this is out and flow and allows the client application is a di directly exchange of the users and says for the traditional for the access token it is a general and discourage due of the security concern. Next questions. Uh, out of uh, out one point uh, one point zero also out of one two point zero better support for the non browser application out of the one point zero has uh, been designing uh, focusing on uh, the integration of the inbounding and outbounding message in the web client application therefore the therefore is a in, in efficient for non browser client and 
auth to point your has a address it. this is issue by introducing the more authorizations flow and the different kind i need to that to do not use web ui yes reduce x uh, complexity complex ty is single um, singing the request out uh, out 1.0 need to generate a signature on on the every api call to the every server the resource and, and that is a uh, should be matched with of the signatures generate at the receiving end point in order to the have access for a client out 2.0 do not need to the generate the signatures it uses tls ssl https for the communications the separation for the roles handling the resource request and handling users and authority actions can be the decouples in the out point zero it is has been clear clear in define the roles and in relation communication the which are the client and resource owner and resource to server and the authority action servers next questions <clears throat> The short lives access token and the refresh the tokens. What about one point your access to the token and can be the story for one year for the years of the more, but it's out and to point your access token and can be that contain an ex expression stand which improve the security and reduce the chance of the digital access and it or for it refresh token in which can be used to get new access token and access the token is the expression value of the protection. Next, what is the REST API? REST API API lead of the integration which stands for the application using the simple HTTP methods either just Jones and system format making this is the ideal API the developing the mobile application with external client. HTTP, HTTP method and description gate and post build and put and patch. Next, REST API callout. This code of the send data service post and test of callout the with HTTP and callout the move. The test of you the post and callout the provide the implementation and uh, of the HTTP call out the mock interface and there in, this is interface enables you can specify the response that can that is a send the response methods you are the test class and in, in trust in the apex run times to send this fake, uh, fake response by the calling text and text mock again for the first agreement and pass an HTTP callout class and for the second agreement and pass of the new instance. Next, Apex class animals and callouts. Apex class animals callout public uh, static the HTTP response make the callout and HTTP returns the response. Next, animal the callout the text system assert the not the equal to null result and they call out the returns not the response next http call out the mob next create a custom rest api and salesforce sometimes we need to the need to do some customizations in the ob rest api for the some complex Implementations. My first HTTP PI class, HTTP gate, HTTP delete, HTTP post. Text class for REST API in my first REST API text API class text. Oh, thank you, friends. Take care. Bye bye.